What's good everybody? It's Batman and today we're going to be doing another reaction video. This video title is How Strong is Batman Part 2 with Prep Time, Battle Suits, DC Comics, and Bruce Wayne. And it's by one of the GOATs. He's got Yvonne the Unstoppable. Um, it's been a long, long, long time since I've actually seen this content. He's a being um, that can mess you up from the inside. Yeah, what, what he said. What he said, okay? But um, but he's a great guy. He's really goaded. He has all kinds of videos. does all kinds of content. Make sure to check him out. Give him all the love and support. You guys already know the vibes. He does all kinds of videos. He still does videos to this day. And it's pretty good stuff. You know, he talk, just basically does a lot of DC. And he probably does other things too. But, um, you know, yeah. See, he does anime and whatnot. Um, but overall, like, it's he has some pretty good stuff. So if you guys are really curious and intrigued to see what kind of content he has, by all means, definitely check him out. Look, yeah, he even does Marvel. Yeah, so he does Marvel, DC, anime, you name it. Check the guy out. It's pretty good stuff. But as always, guys, we're going to get into the video. You guys know how I am when it comes to Batman. It's only, like, my, my business name. We're going to get into it. I'm hyped. Let's do it. Yes, that's right. You guessed it. The Dark Knight himself gets another video of himself yet again. You're probably yeah. wondering why the heck are you doing another video about this, Ivan, because you already did one about Batman before. Well, yep, in the other one, one, I basically covered the basics, his standard equipment, how strong he is in martial arts, and all that good stuff, right? But before I go any farther, I have to give a quick shout out to those that have donated to the channel. You read the title, How Strong... And by the way, we already reacted to that part uh, for part one. Um, I'm going to try to find the video and also put in the link in the description. If I forget, I'm sorry. But I will definitely try to do that for this video once you guys watch this, which is part two. Is Batman with prep time? Because when people bring up prep time, they always bring up Batman. Let's face it. It must be awesome in DC to be a human. Because if you train enough, you can do superhuman stuff like reacting to bullets like Batman does, right? <laughs> you know, just the standard stuff that a superhuman with no super soldier serum or no powers can do because Batman has enough training because humans with enough training in comics is awesome and can do superhuman stuff. He even stated here, yeah, they, I almost feel you know what like- they call that? They call that the peak human condition. <laughs> it's right out of the air. In implying that he perceives bullets in slow motion, this is consistently accurate with the people in his lore and the people he fights. Because other Bat family members like Batgirl, aka Cassandra Kane, has done similar stuff when it comes to bullets. Yep. Like literally dodging bullets as they are fired. In the middle of flight, you see the bullets here, you see her here, dodge, dodge. This is consistent with Batman saying these bullets are slow motion because other Bat family members that he has comparable combat speed to can do this. But this is not even what this video is about. This is about preparation. Let's get into how strong is prep time Batman. A kind of a special video. Hope you guys enjoy it though. You gave me the kryptonite. I never thought you'd use it. I hoped I'd never have to. Check out my other Batman video for explanation about his fighting styles. Obviously, he knows a lot of fighting thanks to rigorous training. For Pete's sake, even Wildcat trained him in boxing. Even Superman believes he's one of the smartest people on the planet. I'm going to be going all over the place when it comes to his continuity. New 52, rebirth, post-crisis when it comes to this and all this stuff. You know what I mean? During the Doomsday Clock event, something that's kind of recent, they stated that Lex, Luthor, and Bruce Wayne are two of the smartest people in the world here. Yep. He somehow miraculously figured out, based on your power signature, I had it made special just in case this day. It affects you the same way Kryptonite does me. Good to have paranoid friends. He's talking about Batman, by the way. Wrath. Fight Batman Wrath. New 52. Bruh. Beast Mode. There's like a myth that Lucius Fox in them does all of his building. He actually can manufacture his own gadgets, by the way. He says, 99% of the parts I machine myself. Some of them Wayne Tech has already manufacturing. And by the way, he does occasionally invent technology for the company. I'm just saying. First of all, he gets to know his opponent quite well to help him later prepare if the occasion might need to arrive. He even runs thousands of... Yeah, I'm glad he went over daily. that because that's another common misconception. A lot of people actually think Lucius Fox creates everything for him or does it or whatever, but no, he's just as intelligent. He does just as enough. So does I, or he's even making things that he couldn't do. So I'm just putting that out there. Once again, he is the smartest fucking guy out there. It stays here every Not day. Lucius I Fox, work. him. Which is another thing that movies like to do in the DCU, which is also very fucking aggravating. <laughs> Different scenarios. I work out ways to defeat villains with MOs and pathologies that haven't been thought of yet. I imagine a thousand potential death traps and plot by my escapes. They wasn't lying when they said this guy preps. He fought this guy known as Prometheus, studied his tech, yeah. used it against him. The villains he fights consistently, he analyzed their tech so he can develop countermeasures. I need to analyze Freeze tech, develop countermeasures. You know, that type of thing. 
I mean, when you think about it, he has to have some countermeasures. Some people you ain't just beating with fist fighting, like no. Clayface, for example. Yeah. Basically, a dude that you can't really punch. He has to consistently find out new ways to imprison this guy because he's literally made of clay and physical attacks usually and normally don't work. Yep. Batman has bombs on the moon, like moon busting bombs. Like what? It states here, we've lost the moon. Like look at that explosion. Just about everything you can think of. That's he, he crazy. Has he has bombs that can blow up a moon. <laughs> Instantly contact Alfred, buy uh, message, blah blah blah. He has contingencies that monitors. The that'll probably world. be the title of the video. Batman has bombs that can blow up a moon? <laughs> Question mark. And Josh, can oh you shit. Me? Get out of here. And if need be, make a new Justice League if they were, were to die. See Green Arrow, Firestorm, Hawk Girl, that type of thing. This guy, Batman's deductive reasoning is so good. He predicted the events of Green Arrow's bachelor party and prepared for, really, Bruce? Really? Prepared for his own demise, so there will always be a Batman. Now, when it comes to Doomsday level threats, he has a strategy of Battlefield removing them to the Phantom Zone. Doomsday protocol. All right. I'm not going to read all of this. Look of what Batman has to counteract different members of the Justice League or heroes and stuff like that. This is some deep stuff. You got one. Let me read this. Hang on. It's kind of blurry. It's not really that great. That's still the issue. But all right, yeah, we're already in a thousand tempi. But crystallization is going to be the key here. It's happy to rub all whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fluid. Um, neither. Um, uh, okay, yep. Uh, Semi liquid remains stable at extremely high temperature provided. Okay. Damn. <laughs> so he can basically deal with plastic and like by using um, crystallization. Interesting. Plastic man, Aquaman. Like he's. Well, let me see this. Aquaman, lack of water incapacitates, uh, incapacitates Arthur quickly and thoroughly enough as a countermeasure. He's strong and willful enough, however, that phys uh, uh, that physicality and courage and whatever would just make him much more dangerous. Instead, why not make him incapacitate himself, perhaps through fear? Um, the landing uh, neuroceptors for water-related senses, for smelling it, sensing it, and processing biologica are much more highly developed than normal humans. Thus, they are much more susceptible uh, to chemical attack. The Scarecrow has already done a substantial amount of work on customized free responses. The only question that remains is the delivery system. And Arthur's skin is too tough to rely on delivery throughs. So uh, he has a dark gas attack. On the other hand, it might potentially be delivered with stealth, so on and so forth. Yeah, so literally figured out ways to fight these guys or beat them wonder woman lantern it's just absolutely crazy you got <laughs> all of these type of figured out ways to fight these guys or beat them wonder woman let me see wonder woman um i can i can count on one hand on the number of times seen uh dan except failure never wanted whatever blah blah okay yeah and uh, whatever pretty much what where is she do, 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 do okay Uh, she can induce a, such as a hallucination. There might be an artificial means such as a nanobot on her on her cortex. Damn, using nanobites on her cortex. They goddamn. So basically making her being a genjutsu and exhaust herself. <laughs> Man, lantern. It oh, let me go back to the lantern. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Go back. And lantern. Okay. Kyle is as dependent as the visual feedback as expected. A driving force may be his imagination, but he needs to see how his projections are forming in order to fully finish and control them. Any number of blinding agents could be used in a short-term interference, pepper sprays, mine acids, and, and the like. However, that's not going to work for any sort of longer term, um, but still reversible in a captive Okay, perhaps uh, cause on a magic could be turned against him. The power ring itself could probably induce blindness if he could be convinced to make it within the right. Yeah, this kind of reminded me of that movie that um that uh, I saw. I think it was like Justice League Doom. It's just... Okay, yep. Yeah, um... Okay, yep. This is all kinds of people, dude. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. He's got all of... Let me see this real quick. Uh... That's crazy. These type of.
contingencies. Yep. He had the flash here. Talk about security is a wall. It's between if uh, or at full strength, very nearly the same as Barry's. The counter measures I design the device for Barry should continue to suffice. We also have uh, getting speed so okay. Vibration set of powder. Well, ball. Uh, do do do. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's pretty fucked. Yep, Flash, Martian Manhunter. It's just crazy. Batman got all this figured out. And of course, you guys remember the famous Tower of Bebel storyline where these contingency plans actually got put into fruition yep. against the different leaguers and they got messed up from Batman's plan. This is the famous movie that got animated, of course. The one I just showed you was Martian Manhunter. This is Aquaman and Plastic Man's plans that Batman made in the Tower of Babel saga and how it jacks them up. Even his plan for Green Lantern Kyle Rayner isn't that just straight up madness, but how? And this is how his contingency, she believes she's fighting a battle like for hours and hours and hours to exhaustion. Her mind literally thinks she's exhausted. She will never surrender, having a heart attack. There was an implant that put you in an endless VR battle, banking on the heart to give out eventually. And here's the contingency for Flash, seizures, Epileptic seizures at light speed. Damn. These people can't be giving Batman <laughs> no prep. And as for Superman, oh boy. That should be the obvious one, right? Like, what the heck is going on here? Gosh, Batman jacked up the whole league with his prep. The mutating effects of Batman's red kryptonite have turned his skin transparent. Consequently, the solar energy that powers him blazes directly into his organs. Like, whoa. It literally has it all, like, archives on how to beat all the members. Like, he's really ready. So, there was a time a future version of Aquaman stole some contingencies of Batman's plans. Something to counteract Superman. There was a temporal grenade for Flash. Somehow has gadgets that makes the Green Lantern ring not work. And then you Damn. have Cyborg, some tech that... Damn, something wait. to counteract Superman. He has, of even has gadgets that can fuck him up, so... All right, so he has contingency plans that can fuck up people like just strategization or technology, right? Then he has gadgets to even do shit. What? Hey, Krypton, they have turned his skin transparent. Consequently, the solar energy that powers him blazes directly into his organs. Like, whoa. It literally has it all, like, archives on how to beat all the members. Like, he's really ready. So there was this time a future version of Aquaman stole... Oh, some contingencies of Batman's plans. Something to counteract Superman. There was a temporal grenade. Temporal grenade for Flash, damn. For Flash. Somehow has gadgets that makes the Green Lantern ring not work. Damn. And then you have Cyborg, some tech that locks him up. <laughs> Batman had these, really? Oh, man, the contingency plans aren't done, yo. Like, look at this. All of this archive. Kryptonite. I recovered this after Sinestro core attacked earth it doesn't have much of a charge left but it could be effective against a power ring a lightning rock from the future it might slow johnny quick down providing he taps into the same extra dimensional energy the flash does i'm not sure if this mother box will do anything to stop grid but it might be able to provide the transport yeah he even has schematics of cyborg cybernetic body so he's pretty familiar with every all the leaguers just on how they function did he not think of everything i mean he just made hardening foam to contain different leaguers if he had to he has a red solar trap aka prison for superman if need be like how though like seriously when do you get the time to make up all this stuff he <laughs> literally made up a whole bunch of fake identities in case their identity was compromised and they could just switch up their identity in like 10 minutes or so if they had to if somebody tries to trace him digitally, it just deletes everything automatically. He has a contingency of a hacker basically trying to track him through the digital network to figure out who he is. Oh, you trying to track me through the computer data banks too? Thought me noticing? Oh, it's just going to delete all the information on me, period. He has a contingency to seal off Gotham in case of a biological attack. Here's the details of the contingency during the Batman Who Laughs event. Isn't that crazy? The contingency actually launches a whole bunch of drones. He like kind of created a backup personality. In case one of them got compromised, made a secret self to save himself. This guy even has the plan called Fenrir to use fake gas to make everybody clear out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He has a procedure that was made to look into Robin's death. He's practically untraceable. No ordinary means of detective work is going to figure out his identity. I brought this up in my other videos. You remember that guy Convict? 
that you know the same guy convict that be fighting like Superman and Wonder Woman in raw power. He has like some powerful gas that was strong enough to like literally make him go to sleep. Some special gas, of course, kind of hacksy. The gas is tailored for his species to put him under cryo sleep. That's insane. Batman is preparing for everything. I just yeah. can't believe I just showed you all of that. But wait. I'm not done. Uh-oh. He has so many battle suits that it makes you think, is he Iron Man or something? I mean, sheesh. Uh. Some suits are not as flashy as others. Like, some suits are just for certain weather conditions, like Arctic suit, for example. An underwater suit has multiple different variants for different environments, just in case occasion might arise. You see what I'm saying? This type of stuff he has for the underwater modules of his suit. Suits that allow him to survive in space. Obviously, but wait, why is Superman wearing it over his mouth? You know what? He even has hazmat suits made to work with his armor. Jetpack. He literally has an anti has face suit that is specifically made to destroy Clayface and beat him in a fight. Hydrogen fluoride. Bro. He also has electrical blast. <laughs> he has a Clayface Buster gas. suit. He even has this cool suit. Uses herbicide on him on this occasion. He has a hazmat suit that was able to withstand the pull of a black hole. They stay here, a black hole. Wow. Was it like a solar system level black hole? He has uh, a suit that can withstand a black hole. I don't know. But I know this suit has medical scanning capabilities and enhanced thermal imaging. That's cool. By the way, his Arctic suit has flaming fists. Can fire heated copper batarangs. He has anti-freeze equipment to fight Mr. Freeze. Like, look at that. Of course, it has heat-based stuff. It has this big behind flamethrower that melts through a ton of ice. Wouldn't that be cool if you could use this against Mr. Freeze in that new Gotham Knights game? Yeah. Even though I don't think Batman's going to be in it, but, you know, some suit like this, some anti-Mr. Freeze suit with fire would be cool. It's even able to melt itself out of being frozen completely solid. Look at his medieval armors. Like, an actual literal sword. If Batman was in Game of Thrones, I need to stop being funny. Has a suit of armor, too. I've gone all over the place in different continuities with these bad yeah, You know what this guy reminds me of? Oh, he kind of reminds me of Simply Choid, in a way. <laughs> By the way, remember that anti-Mr. Freeze suit? It's actually durable to take its own flamethrower, just in case you're wondering. It is pretty durable to its own attack. The more and more I go into his video, the more we're starting to get into, like, the Iron Man-ish type of suits. Like, the suits get bulkier and bulkier, like Hulkbuster suit. Don't lie. You like it, and it's epic to see Batman geared up. One of his mechanized suits is like the Insider suit. For example, it was able to take a hit from Geo 4. It took the brunt blast of a rocket launcher. This suit is epic. It can even recharge by absorbing energy attacks. He fought Batgirl one time, right? This Insider suit got, like, a lot of different abilities. Heat vision, lantern power. It's pretty freaking broken. He's one, he's one of them suits where it could jump him in tears. It's like a little practice session here. Shows like a speed force. But look how he's blurry. You know, wow. It can even turn invisible. Yeah, this insider suit might be one of the best suits. I know I already showed this already, but willpower mode evidently messed up Geoforce. It's pretty bad. Yeah, the insider suit basically is gets grants him all the powers of the Justice League, and he it's just a, it makes him extremely enhanced. So beyond. To the point where it kind of made him lose consciousness, it seems. Geoforce is kind of a heavy hitter, y'all. Speed Force mode actually allows some outspeed electricity just in raw speed. I mean, characters that are usually on his level normally are too slow to him. He just speed blitzed them in this occasion. Another being like Katana that's usually on his same level of speed. He's like literally too fast for. Here's another suit called the Thrasher Mech. It's like, yeah, it's a different type. This suit can like fire electric blasts, but that's pretty cool. It even has freeze battle range. This is awesome. Imagine playing this in a game. One of my favorite suits for Batman, known as the Justice Buster, is one of my favorites just because of how over the toply large it is. And it's literally fought the entire league. Not necessarily being equal to League in every attribute or speed or power and etc. But it's strong enough to not get one-shotted. And it has stuff tailored to their specific and individual weaknesses to help add on top of that. Characters are going all out because they're on like on some mind control type stuff. And they're yep. kind of crazy. And she's literally fighting them with everything he got. And it doesn't get one-shotted. Yeah, it, one it's, it's Joker toxin that they're uh, being controlled with like in a way. And then like in their bloodlust. Because Joker actually wants to kill Batman at this point. He doesn't care anymore and he's had enough. And so it's bloodlust and Justice League members, yet he can deal with all of them, which is crazy. The planet buster with ease. It states here, she's not pulling her punches. Is able to send her flying here. Shows enough tech power to be able to do that. Like, look at her face. Looks all yeah. creepy. It's also durable enough to take attacks from the Flash. Not only was it able to take a hit from a Superman, it was able to make a plasma shield to block heat vision from Superman. This suit must be made of one of the strongest metals because he's taking multiple hits from some of the strongest members without breaking. And these guys are casual planet busters people that can punch the moon in half if they wanted to still not be getting shattered apart into a million pieces 
Another thing that makes the Justice Buster insane is that it actually increases his reflexes. It's able to perceive things moving way too fast for himself normally. This next part happens faster than I can process. He stays here. I put more money into the suit than about 60% of the world's nations put into their respective militaries. And a good deal of that money went towards our protocol for one man, making sure the servers were fast enough for him, faster than any human reaction, fast enough to map his movements assuming he wasn't at optimal speed and then fire the frictionless coating exactly where it needs to be before he can react the strike is so fast the whole thing is over before i even know it yeah this has happened before in the other prep type plans it states here the relic is called the bind of veils and it was woven by hephaestus in a moment of doubt not long after he forged the lasso he used an inverted version of the same weave it's said to be made from wool from the sheep Odysseus men used to trick Cyclops. It's been nearly two years to track it down on the magical black market. The suit isn't just armor. It's designed for war with the most powerful heroes on the planet. Whatever it does lack in raw power and speed and strength, etc., it, it, which it does have a lot of that, it actually has weaknesses catered to the characters. That's why it's called the Justice Buster. Especially made for Flash, like I literally showed a second yeah, ago. The, the, the Justice suit. Buster suit is fucking cracked, bro. <laughs> it has it all, bro. It's just designed to fight all the heroes and villains, basically, bro, at the same time. And for Aquaman, has a foam that absorbs water. Not be able to really freaking move. Like, that's freaking crazy. Here, the foam is made of from powdered magnesium carbonite. It's the most absorbing material on Earth. Covered so many pores that a single gram was nearly... 800 meters of surface area. Uh, the more you struggle, the more moisture it rips from your body. Now look at me. Justice Buster is made for him. And he has contingencies for Cyborg and Green Lantern. If it's Vic, he states, the electromagnetic nerve tree is up. How? You got the c tree new realizer? And of course for Superman, not gonna lie, he's got the, more. The Justice League Buster suit, that would actually be a really goaded Batman movie. Like imagine it's like, it's Batman Endgame, right? And it's about Batman and Joker mainly, but then it's like the Justice League fighting him towards the end and he uses that suit to beat him up. That would be such a cool movie to watch on the big screen, dude. That'd be crazy. Stuff. He does have a lot of raw power, durability, suit, and etc. But whatever raw power he does lack, it can make up for specific tailored weaknesses. Each pod contains microscopic red suns collected from dead solar systems with the aid of Dr. Ray Palmer. I call them my red giants. He also keeps a piece of kryptonite gum in his suit, like prep. You guys remember the famous <laughs> Hellbat suit. Probably a lot of people's favorite yep. little suits that they bring yep. up in discussion. Hellbat, baby. suit actually does have a lot of power. How powerful? He designed this suit for a singular purpose of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with large-scale threats and extreme battle scenarios. Yep. Finished it with a little help from friends. Forged in the sun by Clark and charged with the distinct but limited powers of Hal Bear. Barry, Arthur, Victor, and Diane. This is very vague. I don't know what they mean. It's like, does some of their abilities go like in here? The suit? Like, how do you charge a suit's powers with the power of Diana? Like, how does that work? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's still something to know. How I make, I can see that. It has a little bit of the speed force from Barry, you know? Only limits, it says, the Hellbat suit has mainly his own limits. It said the energy interchange capacitor draws from my own metabolism. If I'm not careful, my life force can be drained dry by the suit. Just to give you some lore on it. Can summon it like in a little pod. See how he's standing here and it just summons to him. This is one of the prep like he actually had a. That's crazy. He can just summon that just... shit whatever. <laughs> I feel like he did have help with a prep time feat. I mean for Pete's sake it's strong enough to rip apart apocalyptic tanks. Easily overpower parademons and break them apart. Was able to send. Oh yeah, like when he used his suit, bro. He did this. He used his suit to save his son and bring him back to life and steal something from Apocalypse, which is literally the planet of Darkseid. He literally waged war himself, beat an entire army by himself, Darkseid's army, who's basically the copycat of Thanos but the upgraded version, and then beats up all the other powerful fucking bosses and then fights the final boss, Dark Darkseid, and beats him up. Like, this suit is cracked. <laughs> side of flying. And it looks so bad. I'm not saying he's on dark side level, but just something to note. 
shows that the suit just has insane level of just raw power. Well, not exactly like the Justice Buster where it does have raw power, but it's tailored to weaknesses. This is just a overall raw power suit. There's this being known as the Eradicator, a top tier being. It was able to break his grip, has enough attack power to seem to be able to harm the Eradicator. This suit doesn't have the most flashy feats, but he's able to, like seems to be able to be too fast for parademons and outreact them, stuff like that. And it's pretty durable, but it's able to take Apocalyptean gear shooting at him. It's very strong, but it, yeah, it does have its limits though. Uh, Frankenstein in DC, I know. Hellbot is able to hurt Frankenstein. It's able to create hundreds of battering. Yeah, that's freaking cool. It can fire a chest blast. This looks very similar to the Unibeam. He used this thing called Initiate Devastator to be able to amp himself. I'm assuming this has something to do with how the different leaguers contributed in making this suit super powerful. It like shows like the little Wonder Woman logo here. It says Routing Devastator. So whatever Wonder Woman contributed, this is what the Devastator is. Gotcha. This looks like a dog on iron fist points, but it's none of my business. Epic. That one time he flew through a large ship incredibly fast. Okay, I think it's official. If you have a high-tech battle suit, it's just by default it has an invisibility mode, cloaking mode. Yeah. Like literally every person <laughs> with a battle sense. suit has this. Starting to become standard. It can even bind with foreign energy matter. I remember the Thrasher shoot I brought up earlier. It can like emit an EMP. And I already showed this suit, but hey, work with me. This Tournament's armor that's stored in the Batmobile. It's freaking epic looking when you look at it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this looks pretty cool. Yeah. This same suit was able to stop a warhead that was heading toward Gotham. And of course, it is bulletproof. Duh. Here's the suit like the Nanomech suit he fought against Superman with. A taser lasso, like some rocket grenade, blades. He has this retro space suit that has lasers. Okay, this is getting a bit much. He even has a scarab armor. He even has laser cutters. He has like this little pulse that disables mechanized mechs. Then he has like the stag armor. This magma suit that can take magma. No, I'm not playing. It really was designed to move through magma. That's crazy. He has crazy. this subterranean mech suit. An uh, anti-Bizarro suit. You've got to be kidding me and it <laughs> can take hits from bizarro without shattering a million pieces instantly solar laser fist cuffs it has like all the specific weaknesses tailored to him automatic firing battering super high volt electric net it does pretty well against bizarro i would say right another suit that's invisible to the sentient mothership other suits he uses like fighting clay for example like he just got too much stuff call him iron man at this point he's ready yeah. for it Oh, literally a pretty long panel. I wish more fights nowadays were this long when it comes to recent comics. It's getting crazy about some of these suits. I don't even know the name of some of these suits. He has like a suit he beat Mattello with that literally looks like Superman. Okay, this one looks a little cheesy. Like, it literally looks like Superman, like his face. <laughs> like what? Like, really though? Fights Scare Beast using power armor. And this armor fights them. Booyah, booyah, and booyah. And in this suit, fights blow for blow and even a batman beyond prototype suit oh my goodness they're hinting towards something here lex luther's war suit batman used it once off panel evidently took out sinestro and grod sinestro you Damn. know what i wish they would have shown this full panel for panel though war suit must be insanity well guys this is about when i do it oh wait a minute you thought i forgot about it didn't you yeah one of his most recent suits some people call this too over the top the final battle. yeah i'm about to say because that's his most powerful suit and it can basically do anything it is cracked that suit was shit on most iron man suits um like probably all of them unless there's like an iron man suit that's that's um like omnipotent or something um, but yeah, this suit, oh my god. That suit Batman ends up getting. It's supposedly supposed to be his most overpowered battle suit to date. I mean, just look how big he is. Give you an idea of his attack power. You see how he does it to Wonder Woman with a punch. Like, you can see all of this that's happening. No Hawk Woman, no. It takes a hit from Hawk Woman. But literally fighting them all, fighting Martian Man, fighting the whole league, giving them some issues in this crazy suit. His suit's durable enough to take the repercussions of this attack. You know, during the World Forge and stuff. Like, yeah, it just it takes a lot of attack power. Let's get some lore on the final bat suit, shall we? It's built upon the Sunbox device I built to determine who would side with us with the League so we could Yeah, it's what for. Element X and the Sunbox is what it's made out of, which basically grants it omnipotence as well, um, the suit. So actually, yeah, Iron Man went to be fucked. I, I almost forgot about that. So it's like, it's a suit that basically makes him omnipotent and he can literally do anything he wants. Anything. 
first and win the war. Yes, this chair built from element X allowed you to see people's hearts, but then you took it further, imagine greater. You built the final bat suit around the chair for yourself. Not just to determine people's minds, but to change them, rewrite them cell by cell. It can basically yeah. read and change the hearts of people cell by cell. This is a more on a recent comic around the 2018 mark. Yep. This is high praise from somebody like a guy. He said, you are the greatest knight of the universe, Bruce Wayne. Are we just going to ignore it? He can fire out stuff fast enough to catch flash? I'm just saying. Blast back Martian Manhunter here. Imagine. Yeah, I actually have a video of this suit and why it would basically shit on um, Iron Man. Like, or, like his suits and whatnot. Now, obviously, as you guys know, in time, comics keep going and whatever. So, for all I know, Iron Man could finally have a suit that's beyond him. For all I know. But, with everything around that time... Excuse me, around that time... This suit would just shit on any of his shit because it was it was when death, excuse me, it was when death battle basically did Iron Man versus Batman, them basically fighting and doing their strongest suits as well, and this would absolutely slam Iron Man. They didn't give Batman this suit for some reason. Well, I think they had like some bullshit explanation of why it wasn't re whatever you name it, but either way, it's fucking cracked. Like Element X in the Sunbox, just look up what Element X can do in the Sunbox. Oh my God, it is crazy vision and beams with the league but that's just about gonna do it everybody hey just keep this in mind that this isn't even all the suits that i covered in this video this is just some of them so just give you a visual representation i feel like these were the, probably the highlights ones of the vid but yeah i even went over more than this in the yeah, eventually i am gonna do a, a, a batman video of like a batman's like top 10 armors or batman's strongest armors um you know um and then it'd be like a dc analysis and basically just going over why the armors are really strong, the feats it was able to do, and so on and so forth. Uh, you know what I mean? And then basically, you know, so on and so forth. It'd be a really cool video for me to do. Um, and eventually, I'll obviously do my own Batman prep video. Um, like, oh, why Batman is the prep god, you know? Prep time god. You know, I'll even eventually do a video of, like, um, how good is Batman as a martial artist. You know, things like that. And, or, and then I'll even have another video of how intelligent Batman is. So I eventually will have my Batman videos, but that will be more further um, in time um, to work because that's going to take a lot of research and a lot of homework because there's so much with DC. Um, and then overall, you know, like, uh, you know, I'll have like banger editing for it, you name it, and so on and so forth. But that'd be really, really fun to do. I could probably do the, the Batman armors because that's a lot more straightforward. Um, and I could probably have that be released this year. But as for the other Batman videos, it's going to take more time. So um, I could probably do the martial art, to be fair. But as for his intelligence and then prep time stuff, that's going to be a lot of homework. So, video, as you can tell, I know what you all are thinking. Batman couldn't possibly have all these suits still, or at least none of them, just sitting in the Batcave, right? Well, even in Rebirth, it's implied that he does have some mech sitting around. There was something turning all of Batman's tank against him. And you get to really see what does he actually have still in his bat cave sitting around. And what do you know? He still has the Justice Buster, even in Rebirth era, right? You would think all this stuff would be retconned out of existence, but it's still here. Some of the stuff still carries over, but Superman destroyed it. You know what I mean? How'd you enjoy this feat run? I'm pretty sure you respect the Batman's intelligence. That's one of the things people respect the most about him. Did you know his prep time feats were this insane? I know a lot of people might overhype some of his prep time feats, but a lot of the stuff they overhype kind of has some meaning to it. Yeah, there's some points here and there where people all right so but i'll keep it there overall very very great video incredible learned a lot from it uh, like well i did i didn't learn a lot lot but like there are some things that were pretty cool to, to realize i didn't know um and most like basically i would say about 80 or 70 percent of it i knew already and the other 20 or 30 was like oh, okay that's really fucking cool all right nice you know so did an incredible job great you name it um really really great clearly the guy does his homework and whatnot and he's clearly a dc fan too great video make like i say guys give him all the love and support but if you guys enjoyed this reaction video make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts down below subscribe for more content subscribe because of the channel let's all just understand that batman is the go come on but as always batman out